Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brandon, your trusted realtor, and I'm coming to you with another great episode. Today, I wanna to talk to you about mortgage rates. So we have all seen, and it has been no secret, that mortgage rates were and have been at a historical low. And I think one of the things that many people have taken for advantage is that this particular environment or situation was gonna last for a prolonged period of time. Many of you last summer who were in the rat race to get a house may have experienced not being successful, but optimizing a very low interest rate. Now, some of you, when you go back to get that pre-approval because you decided to take a hiatus, you decided to save more money, you weren't ready at the time, you didn't realize that the market was gonna turn, who knew that COVID was gonna hit and that interest rates were gonna drop. Whatever the situation is, you are gonna find yourself in a place now where you're gonna see a stark difference whether you got pre-approved previously or you're looking to get pre-approved now in the interest rates of yesterday. So when we started the beginning of March or, or the beginning of 2020, interest rates were at about 3.6%, 3.7%. And so if you're using probably, if you had less than optimal credit, you're probably right at a 4% interest rate. Then at the, at the start of COVID, the interest rate in, two, in 2021 plummeted or to or during the COVID period, should I say the interest rate plummeted to like 2.65%. And we have found over the last six weeks that the interest rate has gone up or fluctuated upwards to a high of 3.17%. And this is really telling in, consider in consideration that over six weeks, there's a continued rise in interest rates. So what does all of those numbers and figures and points and situations mean for you? Well, the higher your interest rate is, the impact, the more direct relationship that has on your buying power and the amount of home that you can afford. That means the higher the interest rate, that means more money that you're paying on on the money that you are borrowing. A common thing to think about when you're purchasing a home is um, to think of it this way. When you're buying a home, it's also equivalent to saying you're buying a mortgage. And that's essentially what you're doing. You're buying a mortgage. You're buying the loan. You're buying the money that's needed for the asset with the home, right? And so some of you will be like, well, you always are talking about owning the home and owning the property. Yeah, you don't technically own it. You're buying the mortgage. You're buying the money that's necessary in order to obtain the asset. The asset is the home which is being used as leverage for the money. That's really what's happening in the background. And so you are paying on the money and the interest rate determines how much you pay on the money. And so if you have a higher interest rate, then proportionately you have a higher monthly mortgage payment. And in that same vein, that impacts your DTI, which is your debt to income ratio, which is the number that lenders look at as it relates to your affordability. Now, let's shift gears. Now, now that we have that whole picture, let's shift gears to talk about down payment and assistance programs. Down payment and assistance programs, again, now that you understand that you're buying the money, down payment and assistance programs have their own interest rates related to the money that you get for that down payment assistance loan. Your lender has to factor in that rate when they determine your buying power. You see where I'm going here? So when if rates are going up on the interest rate standpoint, just generally, and this is the money for the loan, the money for the asset, and the interest rates are going up on the money for the down payment assistance, then guess what? That significantly will reduce your buying power in a geographic area. So it, it is behoo of anyone who is in the mortgage market or in the environment to understand that yes, the process of buying a home is involved and it doesn't have to be complex, but there's a lot of complexities and there's a lot that happens in the background. And so it's vitally important that when you see an opportunity or you're hearing the rumor mirror where it says that this is a seller's environment, but rates are at historic low, you may not know 100% what that means. That may not translate to you. What that means is this, this is a true opportunity or at least was a true opportunity for buyers to get into a eco, the ecosystem or the home buying position and purchase a home and your home be on par or equivalent to your monthly mortgage or your monthly rent right now. Often people will buy a home and your monthly rent, you, your mortgage payment is slightly higher than your rent now and you don't necessarily see a savings for like one, one to three years. Um, 
in, at least in DC, is what I'm finding. And that's not the case for everyone. That's the case for some people. But the reality underscores is the value of the asset and the forced savings that you receive from buying the mortgage and maximizing the interest rate is second to none. And so what does all this mean for you? This means that it just impacts the basic math and the numbers. And there's another reason why if you have not started planning for the process of purchasing a home, you should schedule a meeting. You should schedule time with me so we can set up what your strategy looks like for success. Because at the end of the day, there's so much information. There's so many behind the scene factors. And while I will make this a seamless process for you, there's a host of different things that I have to get you to a place of understanding that you have to make a decision. And if that decision is that you want to buy a home, then don't stand in your own way. Be your own champion. Allow yourself to be worthy. Allow yourself to be successful. So that is my message to the masses today that mortgage rates are increasing. And as it gets mucho calor here in the region, there is more opportunity for rates to skyrocket. And that means that there's going to be less opportunity as it relates to your buying power. My name is Brandon. I'm your trusted resource. If this has been helpful to you, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you stay tuned in and informed to all the latest, greatest realty here in the region. I look forward to being your resource for all of your real estate needs. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.